Hello and welcome to a daily debrief from the Bangkok Post, your weekday summary of the day's most popular stories. Here are the top stories on March 4, 2022. The most popular story on Friday is a story about Thai's heat call to help Ukraine. On February 27th, the Embassy of Ukraine appealed to foreign citizens to help the country fight against Russia's aggression. And on Thursday, about 20 Thais turned up at the Ukrainian embassy to seek information about the recruitment process. Being more than 7,000 kilometers from Ukraine has not deterred this group of Thais from volunteering to help the country defend itself. One problem though is that many of those interested lack basic weapons training, while some are former conscripts but have no experience in actual battle. According to a notice posted outside the embassy, applicants are required to submit documents, including proof of military training. The volunteers also must pay for their own travel expenses and other costs. The embassy dismissed as baseless information shared on social media that volunteers will be granted Ukrainian citizenship and other rewards after the conflict. And the second trending story is, eight more grilled over actress's death. Police said on Thursday they had questioned eight more witnesses in the investigation into the death of television actress Dang Mo or Nida Pacharivirapong, who is believed to have drowned in the Japaria River last Thursday after falling overboard. Among the witnesses grilled on Thursday was Bo TK or Saratanavi Suipan, a friend of both Tang Mo and her manager. But police have yet to pinpoint whose negligence caused the actress to fall to her death. According to police, an analysis of the GPS records is leading investigators to believe the actress fell overboard between 10.29 p.m. and 10.34 p.m., adding they are now looking into forensic evidence collected from the boat. The Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha has urged police to speed up the investigation. The third popular story is about hospitals in 14 provinces of Thailand to serve city cases. The Ministry of Public Health is working with local hospitals in 14 provinces to handle the rising number of COVID-19 patients in Bangkok, which are overloading resources in the capital. The Public Health Ministry said on Thursday that tens of thousands of people have called the 1330 hotline set up by the National Health Security Office asking for medical treatment for home isolation. The spike in the calls prompted the ministry to offer all hospitals under its responsibility to serve outpatients based on the self-isolation system. To ease people's difficulties, the Public Health Ministry decided to open acute respiratory infection clinics in hospitals in 14 provinces near the capital so that patients who may have difficulty in contacting the hotline can go there directly to access the medical treatment system. Starting Friday, anybody who tests positive for COVID-19 can walk into any of the ARI clinics at the hospitals, including those run by the Department of Disease Control and the Department of Mental Health. The medical team will provide full course medicines for them to take home and practice self-isolation. And that's all from us for now. Thanks for listening to the Bangkok Post, the world's window to Thailand. Please stay tuned for more. And be sure to keep up with all the latest news on BangkokPost.com. Until next time.